This is a video on how to create a new server connection. In our previous video, our short ones, uh, we showed how to start or run our web-based applications, and PG Admin being one of them. And PG Admin is a tool we use to manage our Postgres database. As delivered in the kits, we have one server connection. If I open that, we'll see it. It's called Fiab on Fiab Pi. It's connected to a database, in this case, Fiab rather than Postgres. And in the Fiab database, if we expand it, we have in our schemas, we have our DW schema, which contains the data for our data warehouse. We also can see that we have a number of groups, Fiab and Grafana, the ones that we've created. And the one that we have as a super user is called Postgres. At the moment, we have a connection that I've named Fiab on Fiab Pi. If you look at its properties, we can see that it's got a name, Fiab on Fiab Pi. We have a connection with the host name of Fiab Pi, which is our actual kit Pi, our Raspberry Pi in our kit. We open that port and we are logged into the username Fiab. Now that username has a certain set of permissions it can read and write. We have another user called Grafana. Now that Grafana user can only read from a database, in fact, uh, from the FIAB database. Um, we use the term, or databases use the term usage. So the uh, FIAB user can use and create, in fact, it owns this database, whereas the Grafana user can only use. So it's a read-only application, or it's a read-only role, I should say, rather than application. We have the, the term, or Postgres uses the term role, and that role, um, is another word perhaps for a user. So we're going to log in with a role. So at the moment to test it, we want to create a new uh, connection to a server, to our server, using the role Grafana. So we're still connected here. I might disconnect that from the server. Yes, this took in disconnect. Now we have a disconnected connection. Let's create a new server. We could create down here, but it's a group. We'll just stick with a server. We need to give it a name. In fact, it prompts you to do these things. The name can't be empty. I like to name it something that's going to be meaningful to me. So I'm going to say Grafana as our user on Fire Pi, as in the server. The connection we're going to make needs a host name. Now we could use the address, the base address, or IP address, but we're going to use its name, its host name, F I A B. Pi. The port is the same. We don't want to use the maintenance database. Or sorry, the maintenance database we want to use is called Fiab, if I can spell it correctly. Uh, our username is Fiab, and we're going to use we're going to use and save our password. Now the password um, it happens to be the same as uh, one we have stored for the local host here, and we're going to save it. I uh, refer to the documentation for that. So now we have Fiab. Now I can realize that I've just literally gone through the motions here and I've realized that um, the username is wrong. In fact, the, this connection is exactly the same as the previous connection. So let's rename that to the Grafana user and the Grafana password, which happens to be different. So that's the Grafana password. Let's just make sure that I, that I actually gave it a name, a meaningful name. That's it. Now it's got connect now slid over. So we'll be able to find out if it worked as soon as we press save. Magic, it's done. I use a very simple password there, so let's leave that here. And I won't save that password. But now we have a connection here, Grafana on Fiab Pi. If I open it and look at our databases, we are connected to the Fiab database. And we can expand that just as before. Uh, but let's, now we've got this, let's open a query tool on that database. It will populate with uh, any query histories that we've got for that, for that, but it's empty. So here we are. We have a connection. We've connected as, as a Grafana user um, to the database Fiab and to the connection name that I've given it. So thank you for watching.